It sounds like you know that your baby has a congenital heart defect known as ventricular septal defect or VSD and you're wondering if you should deliver your baby in the hospital. And generally speaking, all babies should be delivered in the hospital because it, in, in, it increases the chances that both mother and baby will be as healthy and well as possible. But especially if the mom or the baby have complications, then you should deliver in the hospital. You're no longer considered low risk if you know that your baby has a defect that may affect their well-being after delivery. It can't just be any hospital. It needs to be a hospital that has a newborn intensive care unit capable of caring for a high-risk infant or a, a baby that has a heart defect. I suggest talking with your doctor and they'll be able to answer specific questions that you might have about the place that you should deliver at. As for VSD or ventricular septal defect, it's important to know what it is and what's being considered by the healthcare workers when in caring for your baby. The heart has four chambers. There's the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the left ventricle. And together, these four chambers make up the heart. And blood from the body comes into the right side of the heart, so it doesn't have as much oxygen in it because it's already dropped it off to cells and other places in the body. And then it's pumped to the lungs, picks up oxygen, goes into the left atrium, left ventricle, and then it's pumped out through the rest of the body. So a ventricular septal defect is where there's a hole in the, in the division between the left and right ventricles. And so oxygen-rich blood that's just come from the lungs and is being pumped out to the body swirls back into the right side of the heart. And this can lead to complications such as stroke, arrhythmias, heart failure, and pulmonary hypertension or high blood pressure in the lungs. So what could be done for a VSD? It really just depends on how big the septal defect is and whether it closes on its own or not. Some actually do, but some have to be surgically repaired. And so again, I suggest talking with your doctor about it and based on their knowledge of your circumstances, they'll be able to give you tailored information and advice about where to deliver and what care to expect for your newborn afterwards. Good luck with everything, and if you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.